Hey guys, in this video I'd like to take a look at the Celluon Magic Cube, um, which is basically a projection keyboard. Um, so let's take a quick look at the box. Um, as you can see there, it says projection keyboard and multi-touch mouse, and it's got a picture of um, someone typing on the projection keyboard. Um, on the side of the box, it says um, that it's compatible with iOS um, 4, and it is compatible with iOS 5 as well. So the iPhone 3GS, 4, you know, 4S, iPad and iPad 2 can use this device. Um, Android 2.0 and higher, Windows Phone 7, Windows XP, Vista 7, and Mac OS X. Um, and it supports connections either um, via the included USB cable or via Bluetooth. Um, and let's take a quick look at the back of the box. It's just telling us, um, you know, what all of the functions of the device are. Basically, the power button, the mini USB port, the strap um, loop, the pattern projector, the sensor, the LED light, um, the IR light. Um, there's a bit of a description there. You can pause the video and read it if you want to. I can't be bothered to um, read it. So anyhow, let's take it out of the box now. So you can basically just slide this bottom part um, off. Um, I've already opened the box, so it's just, you know, got a couple of bits of plastic on the side. You peel off to open, and you pull off the plastic front cover. Um, and then you can just pull out the device. So let's take a quick look at the device. So as you can see, um, it is um, very small, compact, stylish. Um, it is available in a, you know, a variety of different colours. This one happens to be red. So as you can see, um, it is a very, um, you know, small device. Um, but yeah, let's just put that to the side for a second. And let's see what's in the box. You know, they've got the included, you know, the micro USB cable. Uh, we have a bit of a quick start guide. You know, it basically tells you how to, you know, set up the device. And um, a few of the um, functions of the keyboard. And we, of course, have the user guide, which I won't bore you with. So let's get stuck into the device. So I am now going to turn it on. And you should see the red projection keyboard come on. Um, and I would also like to note, um, it looks a lot better in real life than it looks, um, you know, um, on, you know, film or in pictures. Um, it looks, you know, very bright, um, you know, you don't have any difficulty seeing it whatsoever, so it might not come across as clearly in the video as it does in, you know, reality. Um, the blue light is uh, flashing because it's looking for a Bluetooth connection and I obviously don't have the micro USB cable plugged in. Um, I am now going to connect it to my Mac. Um, I'm going to show you what it looks like connected to a computer, an iPhone and an Android mobile phone. So I have got, you know, um, text edit um, opened here on my Mac. Um, sorry, I'm now going to go to Bluetooth and um, set up Bluetooth device. And it should be able to find um, sell you on in the device list. Um, it might take a little while to um, come up. Um, and here it is, sell you on, um, and it's a keyboard. I can click continue and it's currently attempting to pair. Um, and basically, um, it's giving me a code. I need to type this code in, um, you know, into the keyboard, followed by enter. So I will show you how I do that. So 9577, uh, 5475, enter. Now back up to the screen. And as you may be able to see, congratulations, your computer is now set up to use your keyboard. So as you can tell, um, it was pretty accurate. Um, so now if I go back down to the keyboard, I can show you how it works. Um, so, you know, if I want to type a capital, I hold Shift T. Um, and back there on the screen, you can probably see the capital T. Um, it is um, very responsive, you know, very um, responsive. So testing space one two three, you know capital Y O U capital T U B E, um, and now let's go back up to the screen. And as you can see, it's um typed it in perfectly. Um, the trick is to make sure that um you know you use um fingers like this that you don't lean over the keyboard. 
as long as you um, use your fingers like that, um, you know, you won't have any, you know, errors or spelling mistakes. Um, and you can also adjust um, the volume. Um, when I first, um, you know, looked at it, it did have um, a volume when you typed on the keys. Because you obviously can't get any feedback on the desk, you would hear a sound when you typed. So function, um, arrow up. Um, so now, you know, I can obviously, you know, type something and you will now hear a sound. Um, I'm pretty sure I turned it up to the maximum sound. So if that sounds loud and annoying, you can obviously um, adjust it so it's not as loud. Um, and you can also um, use it um, as a multi-touch mouse, which I'm about to um, demonstrate. So to use it as a mouse, I believe you click the function key and press the cursor. So now, um, and you basically move your finger over the keyboard as if it was, you know, a, you know, a touchpad, etc. Um, so now if I move back to the computer, um, I am not using the mouse to move around. Um, I am basically using the, um, you know, the keyboard on the desk. You know, you just basically move your finger around the keyboard as if it was, you know, a laptop. You know, it's um, very responsive. You know, I quite like it. Um, so yeah, that's um, pretty much it really. I, mean, I don't know if I've forgotten anything. Though I'm basically going to um, show you how um, it works with an iPhone and an Android mobile now. Um, so just let me um, unpair it from my computer, otherwise we will run into some issues. So I will just remove it from um, my computer. Um, and now, as you will be able to see, um, the blue light is um, flashing again to signify that it is um, currently searching, um, you know, for a connection. Okay, I am now going to um, pair the projection keyboard to my iPhone. Um, as you can see here, I am currently in Bluetooth settings and Celluon um, is in the device list. So if I click on Celluon, um, it is asking me to enter in the code 7944 on the keyboard, followed by enter. And it should now um, be able to pair with my iPhone. Um, and as you can see there, it is um, now connected. Um, so I am just quickly going to open up um, notes and I will um, demonstrate how it works. Um, so I have opened up notes um, now. So let me just um, move this down a bit um, and I will do a demonstration. So, so testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Um, and as you can see by looking at the device, there's not a single um, you know, typo or spelling mistake. Um, it's um, very responsive. You know, I can click um, enter to go down a few um, lines, you know like this video, a bit of, you know, shameless self-promotion, though as you can see there, um, it, you know, it works perfectly, there's not a single um, flaw. Um, so I'm now going to unpair the device, or I'm going to forget the device, um, because I want to demonstrate how it works on an Android mobile phone. So as you can probably tell, um, the blue light is um, flashing again now. It's currently looking for Bluetooth um, devices. Um, I currently have um, a Samsung Infuse here, um, which I'm going to connect to the projection keyboard. Uh, so let me just un um, unlock the screen. Um, I'm currently in Bluetooth settings. Um, and as you can see, um, Celluon is currently in the device list. So I'm going to select Celluon and it's currently pairing and I need to enter in this pin followed by enter to pair the device. Uh, so what is it? 8755115 uh, followed by enter and it should now be paired. So now as you can see Celluon connected. Um, I'm just going to go back to the home screen, go into messaging. Um, open up a new message and I will, um, you know, start typing up a message. Um, the only um, thing that you need to get used to with the keyboard is um, the key placement. 
So as you can see there, I was easily able to um, write hello there without any, you know, typos or mistakes. Um, though the thing you need to get used to is, you know, the special characters. You know, for example, the comic key is um, at the top there rather than, you know, on the right hand side here. If you like to, you know, travel around, um, you know, with your iPad, for example, or an Android tablet, and, you know, you don't like using the, um, you know, on-screen keyboard for whatever reason, or if you want more screen real estate, then, you know, you can get one of these devices, you know. It's um, very small, you know, considering what it does, it's, you know, very small, a lot smaller than a physical keyboard. You know, it's easy just, you know, to rack this into your laptop bag or something. Well, not your laptop bag, you know, your tablet bag, etc and just rip it out whenever you want to use it and you know you will definitely be turning heads if you know you rip it out and probably can start typing on a tablet etc um, though yeah that's pretty much it for this video um, I will include a link to the device in um, the description below um, it is available for $250 um, it's not the cheapest device though you need to keep in mind that it's not really gimmicky either um, it works um, very well um, it does what it says it does. Um, it isn't, you know, one of those novelty things that doesn't work properly. It actually works um, very well. Um, though anyhow, that's it for this video. Um, if you have any questions, then feel free to ask me. Um, like the video if you enjoyed watching it. Subscribe and thanks for watching.